I have lost 30 pounds since March 1st. That is huge for me. It has been a very long time since I have been this light. Dude, I don't know what the fuck is going on, but um, <clears throat> when the helicopter got here, it was coming so fast and so low that, um, yeah, they're circling right here. Um, I don't know what's going on, but it was so fast and so low, all the car alarms on the street went off. So, I don't know, the sirens went by really fast, like they were following somebody up this road, but for some reason the helicopter is still here. <clears throat> so I don't know if somebody jumped out of the car they were chasing, or what, but, uh, you know, this is what they're doing today. LA's finest. <clears throat> I don't know what the fuck is happening. But there's all sorts of shit. What the fuck is going on today, dude? God damn. It's so funny the people who are on electric bikes compared to those who aren't. Dude, what is fucking happening right now? Dude, I have never fucking seen anything like this before out here. Wow, it is just still going. All these people are waiting to go and these people are just standing in the fucking road. So it is really windy today, and it's kind of shit out right now. But, um, 
there seems to be, I don't know, like I'm kinda, like it took me forever to get out of 7-Eleven because there was all this shit going down inside of there. Um, but what is annoying me is I fucking almost stepped on a goddamn dirty needle. And normally it's not that big of a deal because even the fucking junkies cap their fucking needles. But when I was walking up, that motherfucker right fucking there almost went in my fucking shoe. And I'm not trying to be a dick, but that's kind of where I draw the fucking line on dumbass fucking shit about LA. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, that's going to be anywhere where you have that kind of problem. But typically the junkies here, dude, they cap their fucking needles when they're done with them, dude. Fucking leave them on the ground. I don't give a shit, but fucking cap them. Nobody wants your fucking shit, dude. So that's, that's my bitch right now. So, I don't know, just... Be careful when you're walking around here. Don't step in bubble gum, cockroaches, dog shit, human shit, and now exposed needles. That is the lesson for today. I fucking left my house today and walked all the way to the corner before I realized I was wearing my house slippers. So bad, so bad. You can't do that shit, folks. You have your house slips and you have your outside slips. That's just how it fucking is. I had a live stream earlier today. Those of you that were there were very kind and I appreciate it. I talked about the issues I was having and everyone was very supportive, so thanks. And I think it's funny because I just was watching someone else's live stream. I left three different comments and none of them were read. And so I was like, is this motherfucker just being passive aggressive with me or what? But then he also didn't read his super chats. So I think maybe he's just a little slow and just really good at editing his videos. So you can't tell that he's a bit touched. I don't feel as bad anymore. But yeah, there was a minute there where I was like, this motherfucker. Wow, everything on the back of that palm tree is gone. Yeah, that's the one you can see from my window. all to know it because today of all days today today besides me breaking every law known to man as I'm driving like a douchebag and getting hot wet today is May 6th and today when I weighed myself, I have lost 30 pounds since March 1st. That is huge for me. It has been a very long time. 
since I have been this late. So now we're gonna get some Starbucks to ruin everything. Hi, what can I get for you? Hey there, can I get a venti uh, iced Americano with one pump of hazelnut? Venti iced Americano, one pump hazelnut? Yeah. Anything else? Nope, that's it. Your name? Matt. I'm sorry? Matt. Perfect, Matt. Your total's gonna come up to 595. Thank you so much. So, anywho. <clears throat> I'm just really stoked. Like, I can't, I can't believe that I uh, have been losing this much weight. It's awesome. And a lot of it is, oh shit, I mean, whoa, foot slipped off the brake and that was almost dangerous. I just, um, I just, I, I don't know what to say. I'm so fucking excited. I'm proud of myself. Um, I feel good. I typically have been having like a protein shake every morning. For the most part, all I eat is nuts, seeds, fruit. Hello. And then I'll eat like either jerky or like, you know, I don't know, some sort of like chicken or something like that. And that's it. Like, I'm not drinking as much, so that's kind of a thing. But for the most part, um, not a whole lot has changed. And this just goes back to that whole thing where it's like, if you do something for enough time, like you get used to doing something like that. So like the whole, uh, like me eating the way I'm eating, I'm very much used to eating like this now. Like today, because I'm out, I'll probably get something. But like, whenever you guys see me like eating something, that's usually like the one day a week where I kind of eat whatever the fuck I want. And it's usually not even an all day thing. It's like one meal kind of deal. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. So I think right now I'm gonna go get a new vape. Okay, so I just went to the smoke shop, got a giant boot call, um, and I got um, Miami Mint vape. Because I want to see if a stronger vape is going to make me feel sick or not. Oh wow, this really smells stronger. God damn. That's gonna fucking burn if that gets fucking on me, dude. Is that different? <laughs> it's fucking not, dude. Like, the guy originally told me that it's more minty. It's like mint with honeydew. What a fucking crock of shit. Well, hopefully that one doesn't leak. So it is 12.20. I need to be out of here, or I need to stay gone until three o'clock. But at two o'clock, I have an interview on a podcast and I think I'm gonna do it in my car. I have my computer and my microphone with me. And I think I'm gonna have to do it on the hotspot on my phone. So I need to be gone for another hour and a half. And I don't know what to do. I was gonna go grocery shopping, but I don't think I'm gonna. Where are we gonna eat today, guys? Let's get something to eat. I would like something with a little bit of fiber. If I'm honest. Oh, green light means go. That was easy. Should I go to Del Taco? It'll give me something to do, I guess. 
Uh, okay, we're gonna go to Del Taco. Oh yeah, so I'm doing the interview, and then I have my therapy right after. And then I have to do a bunch of adulting today because tomorrow I'm going out to my storage unit with my kid and we are going to clean the fucker out. There will not be anything left inside of that. God damn it. That is the plan. I don't know if my kid is up to the task, but we are going to be getting rid of a ton of stuff. And the stuff that I think is sellable, we are going to sell. So, there are going to be a lot of action figures being sold in my future, and shit like that. So that should be fun. So, I have a therapist, and then I have a friend who is a doctor, who is a better therapist than my therapist. Yes, that is correct. And usually what happens is me and my friend have a big conversation and then I go to my therapist and then I tell my therapist what my friend said. And then me and my therapist talk about it. Talk last night was more of, it kind of hit hard because it, it there were some things that were said that is shit that I've always prided myself in and it turns out according to this person that they don't see it like that and what it is is that they think I focus on lack instead of like I don't know like abundance or the shit that I and the reason why she said this was because I, I always feel like, I'm like, I'm doing this, I'm doing this, I'm doing this. I have this happening. I have, you know, I have movies, I have music, I have books, blah, 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 blah. But I'm always bummed out that I'm not working on something right now, or that the thing I'm working on right now isn't working, or the movies that I put out aren't like out where people can see them or that the music I have isn't um, being heard by enough people or blah 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 like I'm always looking at the, the shit of everything and um, she's like like I wish you can see the you that I see because you're like an amazing person who's done a ton of shit. And this keeps coming up in conversation. And um, I don't know, because it's like I have these moments and she brought this up too. She's like, you have these moments where you will say like, you're the best at what you do and you're really good at the things that you do, but you still are like really hard on yourself. And that's the biggest thing that my therapist gives me shit about is that I'm hard on myself all the time. And I want to know, oh shit, I want to know how to not be hard on myself. But I feel like if I'm not hard on myself, what's gonna push me to keep doing stuff? Never looks as good on camera. It never looks as good on camera. <sighs> but yeah, so we are in the Virgil Village area. And this is Melrose Avenue. And it looks pretty shit right here. I am just really hard on myself and I probably don't have to be. A poos is for a dollar? Shit. Aw oh, man. Dollar papooses, are you fucking with me? The only thing wrong about all of these papoosa shops is that 
they usually don't make them until you order them, which is good. But for some reason, it takes like a half hour to make a fucking pupusa. And I know it doesn't, but that's usually how long it takes for you to get your food. And I do have time to kill, but I don't know if I have that much time to kill. What fucking street am I looking for? Oh my god, did I fucking go way too far? Santa Monica. No, I think I'd go up to... Fountain. Don't tell mom the babysitter's dead. They're remaking that. Who gives a shit? Oh, a new UPS store. Does that have fucking parking? Dude, if that has parking, we're in business. At least for the next month. Like, I'm in a huge dynamic shift and anyone who's been like watching the channel for the last year have kind of seen that I've been in a bit of a shift for the last year but I feel like it's taken me a lot longer to realize it and the funny thing is there's a possibility that you guys have known it much longer than I have. Which is kind of crazy. Okay, I think I'm going to get a bunch of food so I don't have to cook the next two days. <sighs> I think that's the plan. Let's, let's see what we got here. Yeah, can I get a double dill cheeseburger with no lettuce and no tomato? One double dill, no lettuce and tomato? Yeah, and then let me get a cheese quesadilla. One quesadilla? Uh, macho fries. Macho fries? And then let me get uh, two green burritos. Right, two green burritos? And uh, two soft tacos. And that's it. Alright, one double down on that is tomatoes, like fries, one get the uh two green reels, you stop talking, is that correct? Correct. Alright, that's gonna take me today? Yeah, that'll do it. No worries, thank you for the three two forty eight three last Thank you. Oh god, that's so cheap. I just ordered a shit ton of food. I really need to put my car in park before I get my wallet out. That seems to be a fucking problem I'm having. So, I just got an email back from Jenna, or Jen, um, the person who I'm doing the interview with tonight, and um, she's letting me reschedule for later tonight. So that means I do not have to do the podcast in my car. That is awesome. I'm very excited about that. Oh shit, I gotta do that too. Fuck. So yeah, all that food was 22 bucks. Del Taco's amazing. Burger, fries, quesadilla, two burritos, two tacos. Um, <clears throat> so there is quite a bit of stuff that I need to be doing. A couple of those things are as follows. I need to be um, doing more with my mailing list. I really let that go by the wayside. It's good to have, and everyone should have a mailing list, but it's even more important to use it. Fries aren't great. These fries taste like I ordered them on like Uber Eats. Oops, and it took them all day. What the fuck is happening with my car right now? Oh shit, oh shit. Okay, here we are. They're kind of soggy. So, mailing list is something I really need to work on. That's number one. Number two is Amazon. I need to be putting a lot more books up on Amazon. Um, the next thing I need to do is 
my craft book that I've been threatening for over a year now. I need to actually get that done and out. And I was getting hung up on a bunch of shit with it that really isn't the most important shit. I was worried about the formatting and then I got worried that a book on simplicity being that long defeats the purpose of it. So I was trying to figure out what to cut out of it. And then I was like, oh, I should just put out a series of books. And then I'm like, but isn't that still defeating the object of it? I need to not think so hard about this and just put the fucking book out. I just ran a red light. Bad Del Taco fries are still better than most people's fries. That's so funny. The other thing is, <clears throat> is that I need to work on the novels that I've been wanting to write and spend time doing that instead of just constantly putting them off all the time. So, like, a new novel. I need to go back and finish Horrywood, shit like that. And then also writing bigger poetry collections for like quarterly releases or something. I really wonder how much some of these apartments go. Cause like you have all these like newer buildings being built in really shitty neighborhoods. And so I'm wondering if a new building in a shitty neighborhood costs less than a shitty building in a decent neighborhood. The other thing about moving that's been tripping me out, so I'm leaving LA, I'm leaving California, I'm leaving the country. I have no idea how long I'm going to be gone. But if I'm gone for any length of time, when I come back, if I come back, rent here is going to be fucking crazy. Like, I keep thinking something has to happen where they go, actually, this is out of hand, we can't do this. But it's just not doing that. I'll tell you this right now. All that salt I just ate, tomorrow I will not be down 30 pounds. Oh, there's the parking cop, my good friend. So does that mean you already ticketed my neighborhood? Fucking asshole. Let's go check. We only say goodbye with words. I'm trying to see if anyone has a ticket. And I go back to you. We only say goodbye with words. I cried a hundred times. So I still have like an hour and a half to wait here. But I did see the parking cop. What the fuck are they doing? Okay, a little bit of a Dutch angle, guys. Because we are going to eat our Double Dell cheeseburger. So good. It's like the best basic ass burger you could ever have. Oh my God, I'm so full. Whatever.